Hi everyone, I'm David from David O Yoga and welcome to 15 Minute Flow Restore. So I created these 15 minute flow videos for when you really need your practice, but maybe you're too busy to get into the studio, maybe you're traveling, or maybe you just need to hit the reset button any time of the day. And so this particular practice, Restore, will help you restore. It will help you rejuvenate. It will help you connect to an inner source of peace and healing energy. And so, let's do it. And so we'll begin today with a pranayama practice. Pranayama are practices that work with our breath and our vital energy, life energy that rides on the breath, prana. This particular practice is called Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. And it's a simple but really powerful way to help calm the mind, to help release tension in the body, and it helps to stimulate the immune system. So, We'll begin with Vishnu Mudra, so the right hand, index finger, middle finger curl to the base of the palm, and then the pinky and ring finger come to the left nostril, and the thumb to the right nostril. And then we're just going to switch back and forth. We'll close the right, exhale through the left, pause, inhale through the left, pause, and then we'll switch back and forth like that, okay? All right. To begin, let's close our eyes. You can bring your hands to the knees or palms facing up or down. Root the sit bones down, lift tall through the spine, big breath in. Exhale, let the shoulders melt down your back. Again, another big breath like that, fill the lungs. And a long, slow exhale of breath through the nose, relax the shoulders. Let tension melt from the body. And we'll take Vishnu Mudra with the right hand. So index finger and thumb curl to the palm, pinky and ring to the left nostril, and thumb to the right nostril. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale to clear. <sighs> Inhale. Close right, exhale left for one, two, Three, four, pause, two, one. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four. And pause, two, one. Switch, close left, exhale, right, one, two, three, four. And hold, two, one. Inhale, right, one, two, Three, four, and hold. Two, one. Switch. Close right, exhale, left. One, two, three, four, and hold. Two, one. Inhale, left. One, two, three, four, and hold. Two, one, switch, close left, exhale right, one, two, three, four, and pause, two, one, inhale right, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one, big open mouth exhale, ha, <sighs> let the hands float down to the knees, you can take yana mudra here, index finger and thumb, touch. Ground the sit bones down, lift up tall through the spine, the heart and the crown of your head lifts. Let's take a few moments in this space of stillness. Welcome yourself. Yeah, 
as you inhale, blink your eyes open. Let's make our way to child's pose. So sink your hips back to your heels. Reach the fingertips forward. Let your forehead rest softly on the mat. As you inhale, slide or crawl the fingers forward. Lift the hips off the heels into puppy pose. Let the heart melt down. You can look forward, you can look down, whatever feels good in the neck, in the throat. Bring a little more weight into your index finger and thumb, press and continue to melt the heart into earth. As you inhale, come to tabletop, curl the toes and lift your hips, push back, downward dog. Let's take a couple breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down. And come to stillness, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, slowly walk your feet to your hands, Uttanasana, forward fold, top of the mat. So the big toe mounds touch, heels slightly separate. You can bend your knees a lot here. Grab opposite elbows, a little sway. Let the upper body relax. Release the elbows as you inhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, opening with your breath. Lift your head, float the hands up to the sky. Big breath, palms meet overhead and exhale, Anjali Mudra to your heart. Welcome to your practice. Big breath, sweep the hands high. Exhale, bow, empty breath and release. Halfway lift. Step the left foot back, back knee comes down to the earth and sweep the hands up to the sky. Tilt the bowl of the pelvis up slightly. You should feel a stretch in the front of the left hip and the front of the thigh. Keeping the hips lifted, exhale, twist open to the right. Long straight line, fingertip to fingertip. Flip the front palm and take it up and back. You should really feel a good stretch in the left hip flexor, exhale. Windmill the hands off the left corner of the mat, swivel the back knee and then sink your hips toward that back heel and just let the upper body soften and relax. Breathe into the right hip, into the low back, keeping the back knee in place. Right hand to the inside of the front foot and peel the left hand up to the sky. As you gaze up, hug the right knee into the right tricep, open the heart a little bit more. And exhale, both hands come down, frame the front foot, step back, low lunge. On your next exhale, shift the back knee to the outside of the front foot. Bring both sit bones to the mat, especially the right sit bone. So adjust, right hand to the mat, big breath, left hand to the sky, and let's take a twist. Lifting up tall through the spine on your inhale and then deepening the twist as you exhale. Use the right hand to press and get some length in the spine. And as we exhale, unwind, turn all the way to the opposite side of the mat, hands down and take a bow. So it's a little counter stretch here. Inhale, rise, extend both legs long on the mat. Feet together, big breath, sweep the hands, and exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana. So take your time on the descent. Reach your heart forward. Let the low back extend and melt with your breath. Inhale, rise, bring your hands and feet to the mat, lift the hips and let your head drop back. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, ha. Slowly lower your butt and sweep the legs around behind you, find tabletop. Let's do a little wrist stretching here. So shifting the weight from right to left, begin to rotate the hands outward and all the way around so that they face back towards you or close to that position. And then straighten the arms. Lift the tailbone, let your belly drop, and begin to sink the hips just a little bit toward the heels. And you should feel a nice stretch in the forearms and the wrists. So we do so much repetitive motion, typing and texting with our fingers and our wrists. 
we need to find ways to counter that. You can bring some neck movement in here. Roll the neck one side, the other. And as you exhale, come forward and let's come out the way we came, shifting the weight back and forth. Unwind the hands. Curl your toes under and sit back to your heels. We're getting a good little plantar fascial stretch in the bottom of the feet here. Open and close the hands, roll the wrists. Big breath in, sweep the hands up to the sky, cactus the arms, Ha! <sighs> lift the heart. Again, big breath, fill the lungs. Open mouth, exhale, ha, <sighs> exhale, hands come down, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale, ha, <sighs> slowly walk the feet to your hands. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Again, let the upper body drape over the legs. You can grab opposite elbows here, a little sway. Release the elbows, left hand to the mat, peel the right hand up to the sky, bend into the left knee, a little twist here, breathe into the back line of the right leg, and then switch, right hand comes down, bend into the right knee, and gaze lifts to the left fingertips. Exhale, both hands come down, and as you inhale, slowly roll up the spine, breathing, to get length, lift your head, float the hands up to the sky, cactus the arms, ha. <sighs> Inhale, reach up tall and sink the butt down into a nice little easy chair pose. So we're not bending real deep here, just enough to wake up the legs and wake up the breath. Big breath in, exhale, fold, empty, release. Halfway lift. Step the right foot back, back knee comes down and sweep the hands up to the sky. Big breath, lift the bowl of the pelvis up. Once again, feel the stretch in the front of the right thigh, keeping the hips lifted. Exhale, twist open to the left. Flip the front palm and reach up and back, feeling the stretch intensify through the right hip flexor. Exhale. Windmill the hands off the right corner of the mat. Swivel the back knee and sink your hips down. Take a few moments here and let yourself relax and soften. Upper body is at ease. As you inhale, keep the back knee in place. The left hand inside the front foot, right hand up to the sky. Again, hug the knee into the left tricep as you open. And exhale, both hands come down. Frame that front foot, step back into a low lunge. On your next exhale, back knee comes forward to the outside of the front foot. Adjust so both sit bones are on the ground. Inhale, left hand behind, right hand to the sky, and twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to deepen. Press into the left hand to grow tall. Exhale, unwind, twist all the way to the opposite side of the mat. Hands come down and take a little bow, counter stretch. Inhale, rise. Extend both legs long. Once again, Paschimottanasana, big breath. Root the sit bones, lift the heart, lift the crown. And as you exhale, fold, empty. Release, let go. Check in with your mind here. Notice if you feel antsy, anxious, any sense of rushing to the next thing. Just witness that and then come back to your breath. Be fully here now. Inhale, rise. Hands and feet come to the mat. Again, alter pose, lift the hips, let your head drop back, big breath in. This time, stick the tongue out, Kali breath. Ha. Slowly lower all the way down to your back and draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a sweet hug, a little gentle rock side to side. Feel grounded, safe, 
and present. Let's take a figure four here. So left foot comes down, right ankle to the left thigh. Flex the right foot and draw the left knee in. And you can interlace the hands behind the left hamstring or in front of the right left shin. Close your eyes, let everything settle downward, the hips, the shoulders. Exhale, unwind, and let's take it to the other side, left ankle, right thigh, and draw the right knee in. Opening the hips, so very important in our practice that we find ways to counter all of the repetitive things that we do, sitting, typing, texting. Exhale, release the hands. Take both feet up in the air, happy baby. Press the heels up and then draw the shoulders and the sacrum, and the knees downward. Close your eyes, take a gentle rock side to side. Feel a sense of connection with the earth beneath you your breath, your body, with all things. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale, ha, and release into Shavasana. Stay here as long as you would like. Give your mind and your body this gift of rest. And as you inhale, begin to bring movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. You inhale, reach fingertips overhead, toes in the opposite direction. Feel the body waking up, senses coming alive. And exhale, draw knees into chest and roll to your right side. And slowly push yourself up to a seat, top of your mat. Bring your palms to heart center. May you have health in your body, peace in your mind, and love in your heart. Let's close our practice with one ohm. Big breath in. Aum. Thumb knuckles to the point between your brow, the seat of your inner light, the teacher, and the light and the love within me. Sees and honors the teacher and light and love within each one of you, sweet, beautiful beings. Namaste. Mm-hmm.